Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. Here we've got an absolutely amazing Porsche 987 Gen 2 Boxster S, finished in absolutely glorious meteor grey metallic. It's a 2009 car. It's actually got a, a Boxster private plate on it as well, which comes with the car. And it's the larger engined S model, so it has the 3.4 litre flat six, which sounds absolutely glorious and it's got the seven speed pdk gearbox which works in full manual full auto or a combination of the two and you can operate the manual system through either the gear shifter so you can push it forward to go up a gear or pull it back towards you to go down a gear or you can use the paddles on the sport steering wheel there to change gears at any time in auto you can start flip uh, changing the gears or you can put it in full manual so it will just leave it won't change gears unless you ask it to the only time it it will change gear for you is if you forget to change down coming to a stop say if you're in third or fourth gear and you're coming to a stop at a junction it will shift down to first in the manual mode so it will basically stop it stalling so it's an extremely adaptable uh gear gear change because it's a lot faster than a manual but at the same time it can be very very relaxed and it can basically take care of everything you can drive the car very smoothly or you can drive it very very fast which is why a lot of people love that gearbox the pdk system and same with the 3.4 litre flat six it sounds absolutely amazing because it's got that distinctive porsche um, flat six boxer sound uh, the later cars, the 718s, unfortunately have a four-cylinder turbo, which sounds nothing like these lovely flat sixes. And so these are the last sort of era of beautiful sounding Porsches. But with all the modern tech that you need and modern reliability, this car can be run every day if you wanted it to and it wouldn't have any issues. All it needs is servicing every two years. And it's obviously all up to date. We actually have every single invoice from you of all the servicing, both at Porsche and Porsche specialists. And it's covered a very low 35,790 miles. So extremely low mileage, low, low number of owners too. So I'll go through the options now, just on the outside. So as I said, it's meteor gray metallic, which was an optional color, really suits the shape of the 987 Gen 2. You can see on the sun there, it's got, it goes almost silver with the with the silver silver and gold flecks in the paintwork. And then where it's in shade, it goes to a lovely sort of deep gray metallic there. On the on the front, the options are, it has the, 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 the best performing headlights that you could get on this car, which is the Bi-Xenons, which are PDLS. Um, so it's, there was an option for um, as standard they came with halogen headlights, you could upgrade to buy Xenons and then there was another option on top of that called PDLS which this car has, which means it's, it's called the Porsche Dynamic Light System which means it's got cornering headlights. So this bezel here actually rotates as you go around corners so it lights up the corner as you're going around. It's an it's a extremely advanced system because it is variable by speed, by steering angle and it, it just looks so... Um, natural when it happens you just see the sort of light beam sort of move around the corner as you're going around it so it actually gives you more warning if there's anything coming it's got the uh, silver vents on the sides there and it has daylight running lights in this section here so this bit lights up all the time um, when you're driving so it's a it's just like all modern cars it has daylight running lights this is a 987 gen 2 so it has the gen 2 uh, rear lights which are LEDs and they have that lovely pointed edge there and the revised rear bumper of the Gen 2 cars which also has um, a lower splitter there. It also has the dual exhaust system from the factory as well with the stainless steel pipes there and it says obviously Boxster S on the back. And as you can see that paintwork and the look of the car is absolutely sensational. It has the Boxster 18 inch, um, 18 inch Boxster S two wheels which i think look absolutely fantastic they have matching michelin pilot sport n4s all round and the discs and pads are in great condition as well as you can see lots of life left in the pads as well as the discs and it's the same with the treads on the tires as well lots of tread left on those at the front and then also looking at the back as well discs are in great condition as well as the pads and then the treads are in 
I think these have got around six mil of tread at the back and are probably about five at the front. So this car, with it, with it being the 3.4 litre flat six, it has 310 horsepower, plenty of power for the road. It will do 60 in under five seconds. And it has the black hood, black interior with the full leather on the seats, also on the PDK shifter, the uh, steering wheel, and also the armrests there. So lots of, and, and the armrests in the middle there. It has the glass, uh, wind deflector there so that uh, you can run this car on the motorway with the roof down with no no issues of, of wind buffeting at all just look how how good it looks now it has a huge number of options on the inside as well as well as having those lovely headlights and things this car is one of the best specs in terms of its interior features as well because it has the full bow system which means it has this extra subwoofer here 11 speakers yeah 385 watts it's a huge amount of um, stereo power it has the full sat nav system which was optional on boxes so some don't have the the full sat nav system it has bluetooth audio um, bluetooth phone connectivity as well and you can set up bluetooth audio streaming by connecting a bluetooth dongle to the auxiliary here and powering it through to the pcm system so you can have quite modern tech and even this head unit is also it's capable of handling car play if you if you upgrade it with a motherboard inside it which we've done a few of, for a few customers now now in terms of other special options it's got the sport chrono package plus system so it has this the dashboard mounted stopwatch so it has sport and sport plus which show up on the dash there you can see sport plus written and it has the full climate control system so you can set a temperature and it will determine where to put it or you can override it that was also optional on the boxsters and then it has the optional not only heated seats but also cooled seats so this car actually i've never seen it on a 987 gen 2 box i've only seen it on things like 911 turbos it's got the the highest option in terms of this system here let me just start the car so you can hear it but also, so there's the PCM system loading up. There's the heated seats, which is two stage. It also has three stage cooling. So what it has is these tiny little holes in the leather. It actually draws the air through the seat and away from you. So you don't get clammy basically. You could leave the seats quite hot. You can have the heating on. You're sitting in it you're enjoying the heat but it will start getting quite sweaty so what that does is that actually draws that moist air away from you so you have that beautiful feeling of being on a cooled a, a very cool seat um even so you can use it with the heating or without the heating it's up to you they've also got the optional embossed headrests and they've got the contrast silver stitching there as well which also goes with that lovely silver roll bar there has the um, dual cup holders and they expand as well so very practical in that sense and obviously a full glove box with CD storage pen holder as well as I said full UK and Europe mapping there it has even a sim card slot so you can have its own it can have its own phone number if you want it to as I said, it's only covered 35,000 miles, 30,790. It's got the optional tire pressure monitoring as well. So all of the wheels have the optional tire pressure monitoring system. So at any point you can see live what the tire pressures are. Um, you can also change that display. So it shows you the um, miles per gallon, how much mileage you've got left on the fuel, you can even have what's playing on the audio being displayed there. And also when you put the navigation on, it will show you the instructions there if you wanted to as well. Um, uh, let me just see if it will allow me, the car is warmed up. So it will allow me to check the oil there. So there, that's absolutely perfect. That's where it wants to be in between those two sections there. One segment below is, is pretty much where it should be. And then also you can look up 
the service intervals. So, see if there's any mess. There's no errors or anything like that. We plug these cars into the full Porsche diagnostic system and check that there's no underlying issues or faults with the car and this car's come back absolutely all clear. You can also check the service interval. So it's next year servicing 17,300 miles or 484 days. So over a year before the next service is due. So let me just rev it a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like because these cars sound beautiful. They sound just like a Porsche should. Super, super highly tuned. Got a beautiful tuneful sound to them. Uh, let me just show you the front and rear section. So you have actually two boots on these cars. So it's a two seater, but it has two boots. So it's actually very practical for two people who want to go away on a trip because you've got this rear, rear boot here, which actually fits a set of golf clubs as well. And I've got separate videos showing you how that fits in there. You can get a full size set of golf clubs in there. As you can see, it's all original there. No damage or anything like that. And then in this section here, if you need, ever needed to top up the coolant or the oil, that's where it's done. So that's the rear boot. And then the front boot is huge as well. So it goes all the way to the floor pan. So you can get two, two decent sized airline cases in there standing up. Um, it has an extra storage section in this section here. And then down here, you've got all of the original Porsche tools. So you've got a, a, a towing eye, you've got the uh, set of tools with a screwdriver spanner and a headlight adjustment tool. You've got the tire gel and you've got a tire compressor which works with the 12 volt system to top up the tires anywhere. You can use that instead of just going to a garage to adjust the tire pressures. Locking bolt there. So there is the front boot. And then obviously you've got the battery in this section here. So that's a really decent, perfectly sized Bosch one that's relatively new. There is also the VIN number under that section there, which hasn't been tampered with at all. And then it's got the VIN numbers everywhere else it should, which all match all the documentation of the car. And we've been through and lifted all of this, cleaned all under these plastics here to make sure it's absolutely ready for its new owner to enjoy and cherish. Um, it's got the VIN number in the windscreen there. It's also got its VIN number displayed on that sticker there. Tire pressures are on that one there. And then there's another VIN sticker under the mat here on the floor pan, which all match up. Condition wise, as you can see, it's in absolutely phenomenal condition. I mean, hardly any marks at all. There's no scrapes or dents or anything like that on the paintwork. And the interior is also in fantastic condition as well. The rear spoiler comes up itself, but you can also put it up manually too. So there it is up. That comes up at around 70 miles an hour and goes down at around 50. So I'll just show you the hood with it all the way up because it looks great with the hood up as well. So you can operate that, as I said, up to 30 miles an hour. So there it is with the hood up. Hood's in absolutely fabulous condition. It's got the uh, glass heated rear screen. We've fully cleaned and treated this hood. So it's in fantastic condition treated with water repellent as well so when it rains it will nicely bead on the on the surface of it as well um, those are actually great hoods because they're double skin so you don't um, feel like it's a, just a, a fabric top it actually feels very secure and snug through winter if you're driving it with the roof up with the windows up and everything it feels more like a coupe than you'd expect because you've got another a, a lovely like insulated lining on the inside so that's how it looks like. And as I said, you can operate that on the move. You just have to make sure you stay under around 35. Um, so you, could, you don't have to stop when it starts raining to put the hood up. There we go. 
That's what it looks like. Then I'll just show you this amazing service history. So there is the private plate that comes with the car. So, um, as I said, it's, it's actually a 2010 model year because it was registered July 2009. Um, so it's exactly the same as a 2010 in terms of its build. Um, it does 60 in 4.8 seconds, top speed 170, 310 horsepower, 266 foot-pounds of torque, seven-speed gearbox, 3.4, well, just over 3.3436 cc's, ventilated disc front and back. It's got those 18-inch alloys with 18-inch uh, tyres, obviously, 235s at the front, 265s at the rear. This PDF is available to view on the website. You just need to go to the advert of the car and you'll see it there so you can look at all of the options that are here. All of the things I've, in, I've listed are on the car and confirmed on the, on the PWIS system, the Porsche Diagnostic System as well. So uh, things like the Porsche embossed headrests, um, the seat heating, the seat ventilation, tire pressure monitoring, it's got the alarm and immobilizer, wind deflector, Porsche dynamic lights, uh, the climate control system, which is above just the standard basic aircon system, full park assist on the rear as well, which uh, you couldn't get front parking sensors on these cars, just the rear, which is absolutely fine because it's, it's very easy to tell the front overhang on these cars. And the full PCM system with UK and Europe mapping, the telephone module, the Bose system with 11 speakers, 385 watts, the three-spoke leather steering wheel and the universal audio interface. Um, we've plugged it in and also checked um, the engine for clocking and this car's engine hours ties in with the mileage so it hasn't been clocked at all and it's the same with the over revs, it's only been at the red line so the PDK box, the engine, haven't been overstressed in any way. So uh, yeah, all clear um, vehicle health in terms of its mechanical uh, readings, which is great. Um, it was supplied by Porsche Reading 2009, service Porsche Mid Sussex 2011, 2013, same again, 2015, same again, 2018 Precision Porsche, 2020 Charles Ivy, uh, 2021, it had the disc replaced at um, a German specialist Volk Speed VW. 2022, Charles Ivy did the service. And then 2023, Charles Ivy did the servicing. Um, and then Porsche, uh, Porsche Care have replaced the brake fluid and they've replaced the air, con air, con con air conditioning condensers at the front as well because they, they start to perish. Um, so they're all brand new and I'll show you those in the front front in a section. Obviously it's all HBI clear um, and we've got all the invoices from you so every service is in there as well as having the fully stamped original service book with the full leather pack with all of the manuals as well as the service book itself. So yeah you can see the air conditioning condensers are brand new in both sides. So yeah, it's all up to date. The next service is due, let me just look that up again. The next service is due in over a year's time. Last time it was serviced was July, 2023. So it's due July, 2025. So all ready for the next owner to enjoy over this next summer. I mean, it's, it's an all year round sports car really absolutely fantastic the rear wheel drive system is extremely safe um, very stable on the road very predictable very well balanced being a mid-engine car and um, yeah a beautiful collector's edition really because there's not many with this kind of low mileage with that number of high options that this car had from the factory it's completely factory standard as well nothing's been changed on the car and it's always been looked after by Porsche and Porsche specialists. So if you're interested in the car, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching.